Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And guys, great news. Uh, we finally got episode 10 of Star Trek Continues entitled To Boldly Go. And guys, uh, we know that, uh, you know, for, for those of us who've been uh, watching all of these episodes produced uh, under Vic uh, Mignana, uh, his uh, dedication to the Star Trek series. He's put together this non-profit organization to produce these uh, great episodes of Star Trek to make up for uh, Star Trek, the original series, ending uh, prematurely uh, due to low ratings and budget. And they were supposed to get one final season, never got it. So Vic Mignogna wanted to create this show, give us that last episode or recreate uh, uh, the last episode so that Star Trek could finally get its, uh, uh, you know, its uh, proper signing off on the original series. And very much appreciate the work Vic Mignogna has done. He's done an excellent job. Uh, uh, he has this uncanny... Uh, acting uh, similar to William Shatner's version of Captain Kirk, probably one of the best I've ever seen portrayal of him. Or and uh, just has enjoyed, just have enjoyed every episode of this. So uh, the episodes are coming slower now. Uh, I believe it's only twelve. We're on number ten now, and these last few they come like every six months or every year or something like that. But. Uh, 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 they they do come. I'm glad every time they do come out. But uh, what was so great about what we got here into Boldly Go? And it's been split into two parts. This, uh, part one, and we will be there. Will be uh, the next episode will be the continuation of or part two. But what's so great about it, guys, is that uh, as a as a kid, uh, I remember my first introduction. To Star Trek was uh, I was about maybe five years old. I was at my aunt's house and I was just terrified of watching this guy on television with these silver gold weird looking eyes with these psychic abilities freak me out. My aunt thought she'd have to turn the television and I was hooked ever since. <laughs> and that was uh, Gary Mitchell. And what we get is uh, a a kind of a continuation of that story, and that's something that Star Trek Continues has done that I've liked. It's kind of went back to some of the great old episodes and kind of uh, let us know how those stories ended, revisited those stories. But um, uh, this particular story was actually the first episode of Star Trek, the original series that fe featured William Shatner as Captain Kirk. Uh, the original pilot, The Cage, was rejected by NBC. So technically, uh, the episode called Where No Man Has Gone Before was the first uh, episode of the original series. Definitely the first episode uh, with Captain Kirk uh, uh, involved. Uh, so that in itself is just awesome, just great. And uh, uh, this is a revisit, so it's it's kind of uh, uh, they actually end back up where uh, uh, both uh, 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 Commander uh, Gary uh, Mitchell uh, and I believe her name was Lieutenant DeHaney, played by Sally Kellerman, the great actress uh, Sally Kellerman. And they, of course, uh, in the in the first episode, uh, had crossed the great barrier at the edge of the galaxy, and had gained the psychic godlike powers. And uh, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure many of you remember that episode. Definitely one of my favorite. But Star Trek continues. They go back, and they find more people, or they find, uh, as we got to see another person who had been affected the same way as Commander Gary Mitchell. And uh, just, it's 
just so amazing uh how the story was done how it was told put together great story great writing these guys really put their heart and souls into to this for a fan film uh cbs has to be watching this going these guys are great but uh, uh you know we get that story we get this story about them being called espers and that uh you know there are many of these uh uh other psychic people um and and that uh, they're headed to the great barrier in order to you know more of them are headed there to become these psychics and uh um you know just uh amazing how we get to see uh the story move along how these espers actually trick uh captain kirk's crew into you know into uh thinking that they've been kidnapped by romulans when in actuality they've all they've set it all up to get more people to the great barrier to gain these psychic abilities and the federation uh knows the danger they face with these type of uh individuals so they're trying their best at this point to stop them from getting to the great barrier um and I am I have went into spoiler territory, guys. If you, I hope that you, you know that you have, uh, you know that you're reviewing this after you've seen it. Uh, because if not, I've just ruined it for you, and I I, I hate to do that. But uh, this is a review of the episode, so I hope that uh, uh, that you have seen it. But anyway, guys, uh, there will be a part two to this. You know, as we got to, you know, got to see. And I think this is a real good treat, guys, especially for some of us now who are watching Star Trek Discovery. Um, and, uh, um, you know, uh, the divided audience of those of us who would like to go back to um, uh, m maybe a more Star Trek setting like this as opposed to maybe this kind of new age storytelling that's a little bit more darker that uh, has kind of ventured off to try to grab this new audience uh you know but with star trek continues i think the new audience is going to get to see what's missing from uh the the star trek discovery and some of the the newer star trek uh, uh motion pictures and, and, and such and get to see some of the original series Star Trek that generations before grew up on, and the, the kind of storytelling was was done back then. Because uh, basically, Star Trek Continues is just pretty much in sync with that. It's borrowing a lot from that, and it has all those very same similar elements. So, guys, really enjoyed this episode. It was strong. We got to see Spock uh in a ritual where he does get to express some emotions i found that quite interesting that the uh, vulcans do have this process in which they get the kind of uh uh feel uh as there are uh negative effects to being emotionalist and we've seen uh, uh this occur with spock's father Sarek as he's uh he is as, as a no, much older Vulcan. He goes through this uh, condition where they can't control their emotions anymore. They've spent their entire lives su suppressing their emotions and they just come out all the time. And those are the negative uh, effects and the cons of, uh, you know, of living on pure logic for the Vulcan people. And uh, so I found it interesting that they touched on that with Spock, uh, all the original crew, that was involved in the episode where no man has gone before in this episode or, you know, all the original characters that were involved in that. And I thought that was awesome as well. Guys, really loved this episode. Looking forward to part two to see what's going to happen with the Espers. Uh, now they got to deal with a whole crew of them, several, several Espers, whereas uh, we know when the original series just dealing with two people was more than enough and uh actually having really only to deal with one is one of the espers was pretty much uh uh you know fighting for captain kurt's crew in a sense <laughs> and so uh now you you know you have a whole crew of these people and 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 with all these godlike abilities and uh, none seem to be sympathetic to 
humankind. So <laughs> we'll be interested to see how that develops. Guys, tell me what you thought about this uh, this uh, last episode of Star Trek Continues. Uh, if you liked it, uh, if you prefer this over what we're getting with Star Trek Discovery, uh, because it, <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think Star Trek Continues, personally for me, is uh, I'm I'm definitely more in tune and more in sync and more excited about what Star Trek Continues is producing over what Star Trek Discovery is producing. And that's not good considering this is a low-budget fan film uh, that's very well done, very exciting. Guys, if you like content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.